Hola! Welcome back to my channel and today I want to try something that a lot of people have already tried doing. Maybe even you have already tried it. I saw a lot of but I thought I want to try it. So this is the first time that I'm going to try coffee as the medium for painting. In other words, coffee painting. Whoa. husband loves to drink coffee Whoa. and he has this and this arabica dark rose whole beans blah 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 he also has some fuma right here um there a manual grinder for the beans so i'm trying to think which one to use for my painting and Let's just do the instant coffee para di tayo mapagalitan. <laughs> yep. For this project, we will be needing a container for our coffee and bowl for our water, the instant coffee brushes. Of course, we will be needing a paper. I'm going to use a watercolor paper because I'm not sure if the normal paper would work in this project. Baka kasi mapunit. Now we are boiling our water. I'm going to use this to melt our coffee powder. So just slowly because it's too hot. And I just poured water on our bowl. There. Tissue paper, um, here, here, here. I don't know where to put this tissue paper. Oh, here. <laughs> so I think that's it. Oh, I forgot. Teaspoon. <laughs> there. Complete. And now I'm going to start to dissolve my coffee. I'm gonna put this in three section as it is in my container because I'm planning to have one that is very very dark then medium then light because having these different shades would make it easier for me when applying the coffee on my painting so basically kung dark of course mas maraming powder lesser water medium mas maraming to be compared to dark and the lesser one should have smaller amount of coffee powder and more water para mas lasaw kumbaga <laughs> tagalog bang lasaw basta yun so i think this is okay so since this is the first time i'm going to do this i need to test them first on my paper just to make sure they work starting from the darkest medium hmm sana mag work <laughs> Uh, I don't think my difference yung medium and light. I'm not satisfied with that. So, I, th I will continue to mix and match this water and coffee until I achieve the desired result. I really do need a difference from the darkest medium and light. So, again, I'm using hot water to dissolve my coffee because it's easier. Then I'll keep applying that on the paper to check. Still not and again. This is the fun part of art. You keep on trying, experimenting until you get the desired result. Patience is the key. So I think I already got it. I already see a difference now. Oops. Oh, <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I think this would work already and it's okay. With that, let's proceed to the next step, which is doing a sketch for our painting. We will be doing a coffee mug. So I'm starting with a circle there. 
so I keep on doing rounds and rounds until I get the lines that I want by the way I apologize I wasn't attentive enough to the video so I didn't notice that what I was doing was out of the frame so please forgive me as you can see I keep on like drawing erasing drawing erasing and yeah here it is but I don't think I'm satisfied with that my circle is not a circle so sometimes it gets frustrating because you cannot do it I need a help from my protractor uh, I should have used this a while ago and not waste time hmm. so let me fix my circle and there I think this is better now for my favorite part painting wow. yeah but let me just erase the dark lines so that hindi siya halata later when we paint on it and let me just do a guide for where my bubbles my coffee bubbles would be course when painting I usually start with a light color I mean this is what I do with watercolor you don't want to start with a dark one in case na magkamalika and also don't use a dirty brush like I did <laughs> I have not painted for a while so I wasn't able to check my brushes I'm starting with an inner circle so I'll apply a very light coffee around this including that portion where my white bubbles should be Nope. Oops. Um, yeah, <laughs> I can proceed to painting the outer part as well. Again, just start with a light application so that it's easier for us to fix things than having a dark pigment on our paper. So I'm just proceeding to painting the outer part of the platito <laughs> I'm doing a dark shade around here para mag pop yung subject natin sorry talaga hindi nakikita <laughs> mali talaga yung pag record ko but yep it looks like this And now I just want to make sure that the surface is dry before I add another layer and applying the very dark color ito yung magiging coffee avoid the part where the bubbles should be this part should really be dark Then if you think you applied it too dark, you can use a tissue paper to clean that up or to lighten up the area that you don't want to be too dark. And I'll just go ahead on applying darker or shadows on some areas. Make sure that the areas you apply the color are dry kasi pagbasayan kumakalat siya so it's better talaga if tuyo or just wait until dry na <laughs> yung isang area and then just like add layers and layers and layers again patience 
masyadong magmadali sa pag-apply ng darker colors. You have to work it up from light to dark. Para sigurado tayo at hindi masayang yung paper and yung process natin. Then, I'll proceed with some colors dito. And, hmm. I'm gonna leave a little white space between the outer part of my platito and the insides para magmukhang may depth and yeah, it will look like this And now, I'm using a very dark pigment, making little circles sa loob nito. Nagmumuka yung bubbles dito. We still need to apply some more pigments. Again, working it up hanggang maging dark yung areas na gusto kong maging dark. I will be sharing with you a trick that I do using this white poster paint uh, later. I wipe my brush from time to time because it's getting sticky siya and letting my piece dry so I can add more layers to it. As you can see, maraming parts na hindi gaanong malinis. I will fix that later. And right now, I will just add more layers. Like this bubbles right here. Using the darkest coffee color. So just dab random not uniform size na droplets <laughs> yeah make sure hindi sila pantay pantay para mas mukhang realistic When I apply the pigment, I would start sa area kung saan dapat darker and then I work outwards until it becomes lighter para blended yung itsura niya. And then I use water, water to wash out yung dulo. Again, to blend them. Now, I am going to show you what I do with the posture paint. <laughs> I use this to clean up my lines. Kasi minsan hindi maiwasang may lumalampas. So, if an area is supposed to be white, 
I use a white poster paint for that. It's easy. Because I don't know if there's another way to clean up this parts. <laughs> and since poster paint is not as transparent as watercolor or this coffee, it would work. It can cover that up. I also use this to make highlights. Some use masking fluid. That is something that you apply before applying the paint just to cover the areas na ayaw mong malagyan ng pintura. But I don't have that, so I just use this trick. Medyo may kamahalan rin kasi yung masking fluid. So, yep. So here, I quite don't like this part right here. So I will show you what I do para remedyohan yung mga parts na hindi ko nagugustuhan. <laughs> Though, minsan, hindi na talaga sila naayos. But, I think this one, pwede pa naman. <laughs> or, sana. So, what I do is that I will put more paint or coffee on this. Susubukan ko siyang takpan. I think kailangan ko talagang kapalan yung kulay para matakpan yung unang line na nagawa. We'll see if this would work. So now that it's dry, I'm going to make a new line. Kasi di ko nga nagustuhan yung kanina. So ito, hindi pa rin siya maayos. But I'm going to fix that later pag natuyo na. Again, wait until matuyo yung area bago ka gumawa ng mga cover-ups. Para hindi maghalo-halo. Adding more shades around this mug. So, kailangan mong isipin saan yung malalim na area and saan ba yung naka, parang nakausli. Then, make the deeper area darker para magkaroon ng illusion. So, while waiting for this to dry, hmm, merienda muna tayo. Burger! <laughs> Ayan na. Tuyo na siya. So, ayusin natin yung linya. I'm going to use the dark one. Tatakpan ko yung medyo sobra. So, ikakalat ko yung dark color para hindi halatang cover up siya. So, ganun yun guys. Balance, balance lang tayo. You might want to touch up some areas para bumalance doon sa cover up mo. Para hindi halata or hindi off. Bakit? darker yung area na yun. Tsk! 
just adding some more details and shadows. Na kaadit promise nag-add ng details. Minsan hindi ko alam kung kailan mag-stop. And just enjoy the process. Enjoy the play of colors, of shadows, of values. That's how art is supposed to be. You're supposed to be enjoying it. And now for the final touch, splatters. Splat those coffee waters all over it. And it's done. Ta-da! Tapos na. So here's our coffee painting. Like literally, it's a coffee. Di pa siya tuyo, but maliit lang siya. Proportion wise, madaming kailangang ayusin. <laughs> Hindi siya perfect, but I enjoyed it. I'm really trying to not be too perfectionist when it comes to like doing arts. Kasi minsan imbes na na e enjoy ko yung arts na si stress ako. Kasi nga parang oh, hindi perfect, hindi perfect. But I'm trying to just enjoy arts than to give myself a hard time like making every single thing perfect and scratching it out, then trying it again, and then wasting a lot of paper. And hopefully, hindi siya lang gamin. <laughs> I'm pretty sure lalang gamin to kasi medyo sticky na yung iba eh. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching and joining me in this video. And don't forget to like my video, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell so that you will be updated sa mga latest videos ko. That's what you say, right? As a YouTuber. Yeah. That's what they say. <laughs> gaya gaya. So, thank you so much for joining me today. Adios.